She's called for the nuking of Medina, Mecca, and Tehran. She's frequently promoted various white supremacists. She's claimed that all Muslims engage in bestiality. And she's claimed that Hitler and the Nazis only did what they did because they adopted jihad. So as you can see, this woman's got some interesting views and opinions. However, recently something's happened on her website that has shown her to be a little bit more obviously deceitful. And given the events of the past week and how they have affected her personally, this is a very, very, very interesting story. Back in 2007, on the Atlas Shrugs 2000 blog, uh, Pamela Geller posted a copy of an email she had received from someone in Norway, who at the time had remained anonymous. If you go to her website now, and I'll leave a link below, this is how the email will appear on her website. I'll read it to you now. Well, yes, the situation is worsening. Stepping up from 29,000 immigrants every year. In 2007, we'll be getting a total of 35,000 immigrants from Somalia, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. The nation's capital is already 50% Muslim. Adding the 1.2 births per woman per year from Muslim women, there will be 300,000 plus Muslims out of the then 480,000 inhabitants of that city. Orders from Libya and Iran say that Oslo will be known as Medina at the latest in 2010. Although I can consider this a PR stunt nevertheless it is their plan from Israel the hordes clawing of at the walls of Jerusalem proclaim cheerfully that next year there will be no more Israel and I know Israel shrugs this off as I do and will mount a strike during the summer against all of its enemies in the Middle East. This will make the Muslims wo worldwide go into a frenzy, attacking everyone around them. Before, I thought emigrating to Britain, Israel, USA, South Africa is for tax purposes and politics. But instead, although I believe we are the very last generation on earth before the return of God, I will stay and fight for the right of this country and indeed the entire peninsula for the God-fearing people. It's far from impossible to achieve. After all, my people has done it every time before. Oslo and the southeast may fall easily, but there are other lines than state borders drawn across the country since long before there was even a single Muslim in the world. We are entering into a new golden age for my people. Never fear, Parallel. God is with you too in this coming time. Now following the attacks in Oslo and the shootings on Utoya Island, there were many strong links made between Anders Brevik and Pamela Geller. There was even a rumour initially starting off that Anders Brevik blogged for Pamela Geller's at the Shrugs website under the name Fjordman, although this has been dismissed and there is no real evidence to prove it up, to prove that it's true. However, this email from 2007 was brought to a lot of people's attention recently. Why is this? Because this email from a anonymous man in Oslo who sounds very similar to Anders Brevik in his rhetoric and beliefs was actually edited. This is not how it appeared originally on the website. There was a line cut out there. Now, if you go into the below bar, you'll see a link to the Google cache that will show you what the original one looked like. And I've even got a screenshot I'm going to put up for you here. As you can see, the email is completely identical to the one uh, that I've just read out, except for one line. One line that appears in the middle. It says, we are stockpiling and caching weapons, um, ammunition and equipment. This is going to happen fast. Pamela Geller has deleted this. She has taken that line out within the last week. I don't know whether she knows who this is from, but it does show that, that this was a big sign for her at the time, that maybe she could have reported this to the police, maybe she could have let people know that this was coming. Instead, she has decided now, in the wake of this disaster, to cover her